a Fox News alert. Take a look. Looks like smoke rising over Gaza despite the temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas set to continue through tomorrow. We're working to verify exactly what's happening right now. But meantime, today we are expecting Hamas to release 10 more hostages. You're watching Fox and Friends first here on a Tuesday morning. I'm Todd Byron. And I'm Carly Shimkus. 51 people held by Hamas are now back in Israel after the terror group released 11 more women and children yesterday. They were airlifted to a hospital in Tel Aviv, and that's where we find Trey Yanks this morning. Trey, that smoke plume could change things, but right now we just don't know what it is or what's going on. Yeah, Todd Carley, good morning. It is day five of the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. We're looking at those live images there of the Gaza border with black smoke rising from inside the strip. It could be an indication there was a ceasefire violation. It could be a tactic for Israelis to cover their forces as they reposition. We simply don't know at this point, but we are looking into it at this hour. It comes after 11 more hostages were freed overnight as part of this larger ceasefire deal. They were flown here to the Ichilov Hospital in the center part of Tel Aviv, nine of them children. And we know that they are from the same small community of Niroz taken into Gaza on October 7th. All of them have fathers that are being held inside Gaza. Israeli officials are hopeful that 10 additional hostages will be released tonight as part of the ceasefire that has been extended for two additional days. It's these families reuniting that stands out over the past week. You look at this video here of the Brot family that was reunited over the weekend. These kids meeting their dog for the first time in more than 50 days. You can see the joy on their faces. We also continue to follow developments from inside Gaza, where right now, Palestinians are using the lull in fighting to gather supplies and clean water. At this water station in Han Yunus, Gazans fill up large jugs, unsure about when they'll have the next opportunity to do so. And we should note, this is the longest conflict in the history between Israel and Gaza. The closest in length was 51 days back in 2014, but this clearly still developing with hostages still held inside Gaza and the fighting expected to continue later this week. And Todd, Trey, Carly. so notable that you said that all the children that were released yesterday have f fathers still inside Gaza, which could have been done by some cruel design. And the other thing that's coming to light now that is of concern is that some of the hostages aren't being held by Hamas. They're being held by other terror groups. And that raises a lot of questions on what happens to them. Could they possibly ever be part of a hostage negotiation between Hamas and Israel if they're being held by another group like the Palestinian Islamic Jihad? It's a great question. And look, there are reports that indicate up to 40 hostages being held inside Gaza aren't actually being held by Hamas, the group that still controls part of the Strip. There are other organizations like Islamic Jihad, DFLP, PFLP, smaller criminal organizations that are families inside Gaza. And they are reportedly holding some of the hostages. It further complicates these negotiations because the reality is Hamas may not be able to identify where they are being held, and thus they can't get them and release them as part of a larger deal that's being negotiated by the Qataris or the Egyptians. And so as we look forward into this, there could be a few more days of ceasefire. Even this extension could be extended, but we will get to a point where the fighting is expected to resume. Israeli forces say they are preparing for weeks of battle inside Gaza as they push deeper into the Strip and continue to go after Hamas leadership. Trey Yang's live for us in Tel Aviv. Trey, thank you so much.